Hi everybody, my name is Barry Schwartz and this is the Search Buzz Video Recap. Today is Friday, September 15th, and this is the search news we covered over at the Search Engine Roundtable at seroundtable.com over the past week. First up, before I start, just to give you a heads up, I got off a red-eye flight from LA back to Newark. Newark. I landed at 5 a.m. It is right now 8.15 a.m. Um, so if I'm a little tired, I apologize, but I probably won't act any more tired than I usually am, so it should be all good. So thanks for bearing with me, and good morning, Eileen, and everybody's watching live um, on Facebook right now. First up, uh, Google Brain Canada, the supposedly the head of Google Brain in the Canada office, basically said that Google uses search data, uh, or click data, for search rankings. Um, he said, and I'll quote from Mike, who was at the event, that they just confirmed Pogo sticking is part of the, the Google, uh, Google algorithm. Um, and I listened to the transcript, which we actually have an audio transcript of it right over here. And he basically goes through and says, um, where's that specific quote? But Google is now integrating machine learning into that process. So the training models on when someone clicks on a page and stays on that page, when they go back or when they try to figure out what exactly the relationship is, that talks about specific click data. And Google has said time and time again, they do not use click data, how long people stay on a page, pogo sticking. Um, directly in their search rankings, they definitely somewhat use it to measure the algorithms after the fact, but not as a direct ranking signal. Um, so it's hard to understand exactly what's going on. It might be part of some quality algorithms that they test afterwards or not. I asked Google for a comment and Google has been silent. I asked them, I think three times to comment. Um, Google Search Console did an update for their Rich Cards report in the Google Search Console, specifically around job listings. The update uh, was posted in the Data Anomalies page and basically says the Rich Cards report no longer shows data for job listings that are too stale to be eligible as job-rich results. Therefore, you may notice a drop in the number of, jo of, of reported jobs in the Rich Card report. This report is a change only. Uh, search results are not affected by this change. Google Search Console has also killed off the Fetch as Google for mobile apps. It used to be a feature where you could actually go ahead and see how Google looks at your apps um, in the Google Search Console using the Fetch tool, and this is what it looked like, which is pretty cool. It actually like, oh, Google knows exactly what content and what, how my apps look like by giving you a preview of that. Google killed it, saying it's kind of duplicative to the Firebase app indexing documentation, but I don't see that feature anywhere there, uh, but Google, Again, they, they're kind of separate departments. Firebase is its own thing now, and Google is not so worried about it. And my concern is obviously how Google is going to treat apps in the index. And Google's pretty much not talking about that. The Google's new Google Search Console beta um, will, the data that you get in that new Google Search Console beta, the data, the new data there, will in the, be in the future API when Google ever releases it. So don't worry. There's a lot of cool data that is going to be available there as well. Uh, everybody's everybody's getting ready for the mobile first index and with that um, interesting enough Google just wrote a blog post last night discussing how you could go ahead and move your m dot domain or your adaptive dynamic serve domain name um, or website to a responsive design um, and it shows you how to do that obviously the m dot is more important because it's a separate URL and there's 301 redirects happening of course Google says go responsive. Google says if you are going to go responsive, do it now anyway because it's better you do that now before the mobile first index and so forth. Um, and they actually have documentation on how to do that, so I think it's coming soon. I mean, Google's really preparing. Google said faking the article publish date is something that's an old trick, and of course it's an old trick. So this date over here, if I went ahead and, you know, today's September 15th, changed it from when I originally posted on September 14th to September 15th without any updating anything else. That's an old trick and Google's on to you, so don't bother doing that, although people say it still does work. Google said that 404s um, that Google crawls technically does use up your crawl budget. Google said in the past that crawl budget wasn't really used when it went to 404s, but typically what John basically said there was back then was that it's the last thing that Google will go ahead and crawl are the 404s. So if you have leftover crawl budget, Google will crawl your 404s and then that crawl budget will be used. So that's a little more clarification around that. Google said once your malware is cleaned up, there is no long-term impact, negative impact on your search results for your website. No long-term SEO effect if you have cleaned up your malware. Google said your XML sitemaps don't have to load super fast. You could go ahead and uh, 
as long as they don't time out, you're good. Again, this is XML sitemaps are just for Google, not for users. And because of that, there is no significant impact in terms of having a slow XML sitemap, assuming it does load and doesn't time out. Google wants you to ignore the cache date. Google said this time and time again. Again, Google saying, just ignore it. It's not useful to you and use the, the Google Search Console reports uh, for more accurate information. Google said that boiler content, like you know, the stuff you have in your footer, your navigation and header, stuff that's boilerplate content, your legalese and stuff like that, is not harmful or and it's not toxic. So don't freak out about it. It's typical that most sites have that. Google has turned off the Q&A feature, the question and answer feature for some local results, specifically the White House, after it received a tremendous amount of you know, spam. We discussed this the other week. And now if you go to the White House, you actually see no um, Q&A there. Um, if you try to submit one, it's going to just bug out on you as well. Um, let's see what it shows now. No, it's a tablet, so it doesn't show any Q&A. Uh, but maybe on mobile it would, or maybe they changed it. I have to check on my iPhone. But I just reported this the other day, and it actually doesn't show any Q&A. And it lets you submit it, but it just bugs out when you try to access more information. Google AdWords ha is adding and rolling out a new reporting dashboard feature, which lets you customize your dashboard for your reports. Um, it kind of looks like this which is cool and it gives you all these ways to add your own dashboards to your to your um, results. Google AdWords also is testing a new look for the um, click to text feature. So you can see here um, the click to text here and it actually shows the phone number which it didn't do before. That's cool. Google AdWords is also testing a new image slider for search results which actually it's similar to the other stuff we saw before around the image carousel but it just shows images now. You can actually carousel through which is pretty cool. Almost done. I'm sorry for going so fast, but I am exhausted. Not that I'm going to go to sleep until later tonight anyway, but um, Google AdSense um, seems to be redesigning their ad review center. Um, Webmaster World folks are actually noticing it and getting alerts for it. And finally, Bing said they're going to actually go ahead and crawl the web for PWAs, um, progressive web apps, for inclusion in their web app store. So we'll see what happens with that. It's pretty interesting. Obviously, PWAs are a growing thing. Um, it'll be very interesting to see how that, that happens and how Google handles that as well. In any event, thanks so much for bearing with me during this Search Buzz video recap. Today, again, is September 15th. This is the search news we covered over at the Search Engine Roundtable, seroundtable.com. Um, I believe, yes, I am offline on Thursday and Friday, so there probably won't be a video recap that day. Maybe I'll do it on Sunday. Probably not. I might, might skip a week. Uh, but I'm offline for Rosh Hashanah, the Jewish New Year. Everyone who's Jewish and celebrates the, the Jewish New Year, have a happy and healthy and successful New Year. And I'll see you guys, I guess, in a couple weeks. Everyone have a great weekend, and I'll see you guys then. Bye.